Hello and welcome to another episode of Kenshi. My name is Tobol. We're still being pursued by these lovely, lovely police guys. Uh, and do you mind not getting stuck on the bridge of doom? Thank you, sir. So I've been running in circles for a really long time between episodes, guys. And what I think I've discovered is that there's the programming for these, this AI, or this group, is that they will pursue you as far as they possibly can forever. And on the map, they actually look like an invasion force that you're fighting. They don't show up as a faction that you can see in an event, but they act as though they're a faction on the map. So what I'm thinking is that the way this is programmed is to chase you forever. <laughs> it's far and it's uh, as wide as possible. They're going to pursue you. So my theory right now, and yes, I totally did have the theory of bringing this police force over to our friend at the tower. However, I'm getting a feeling that these guys are, these guys hate us. I've, I've pulled these guys through a ton of other groups and they will not drop your aggro for the most part. Like two or three will drop here and there, but by and large, they're never gonna drop your damn aggro. So what we, I think we need to do, if everybody would continue to run, please, is try to run through a town, something like uh, Katoon to see if Katoon, the Katoon guards will, will pick up some of the aggro. I honestly think we're going to have to go back home with our entire group until this entire force is, de is dealt with because it seems like this is just a this is just a, a group on a mission. They'll, they'll keep coming at you as long as one of them knows where you are. I've never been able to lose them yet. Part of the problem is we have a lot of slow people in the form of uh, injuries or Maw and Truth who are you know, relatively new, so they don't have the athletics built up to stay ahead of everything. So I think I'm going to give Katoon a shot. We'll see what happens. I've tried running them through, oops, a uh, nice, through like an alpha wolf wolf pack thing here. We'll try Katoon. I've tried running them through, you know, packs of, um, of course, the spiders don't help because I think the security spiders are under their control. Uh, but we have tried other things like the... Um, those uh, hivers as well. I've tried to run them through there. I've tried beak things as well. I've kind of done a couple circles here. So nothing really works yet. So we're going to give Katoon a shot. Wow, oh, you're fast, you buggers, are you? Or no? Did they just... Was that like a tumbleweed I saw? Okay. If Katoon doesn't work, I guess we're going to have to just try to bring them all the way home. I don't see any other option. Uh, we have to get them into our turrets. And we should be able to hold them there. With the, with the sheer numbers we have, we'll see. We'll see if these guards even care. May, they might not even care that there's a bunch of robots streaming through their city. Okay, so they are aggroing. Let's have our group run all the way to the edge of the city. It is kind of a dead end, but I think we should be able to maybe possibly... Oh my god, we're going to wipe everyone out of the city. That's going to be amazing. We might be able to do a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop here. And... Uh, get back outside. There's not enough guards to fight the amount of skeletons there are here. We're going to wipe out Katoon, guys. It's going to be amazing. We can probably... <laughs> we can probably fight them one at a time if they all come to the edge of the city. Are you guys running away? Yeah, so there's still some chasing us. I'm still going to try to... Ooh, that's going to be a hit to us. I'm going to try to get out of the city while they're still... While everyone's distracted fighting. I don't have any confidence that they're going to be able to stop the skeleton threat, to be honest with you. Oh, did you go down? Well, maybe that's a better better sign. Let's take a look at one of these guys. I've not been able to loot them yet. I'm curious if they have any goodies for us. Uh, nope, they just have rag loincloths and what looks like a, some kind of a chopper. So, not worth staying around. At this point, we've got injuries, we've got, you know, other things happening. I just want to get our group home right now. We did have a big recruitment drive, so maybe we can focus on getting everyone trained up and then coming home. Uh, we still have to get more recruits, by the way, because we need more for the archer squad. So maybe now that it seems like we have, like, a breathing room from the skeleton group, we can try to go over to Morn and recruit some more people. Okay, so maybe this is, uh, this dropped the skeletons off. I see a lot of them dead or dying. Great. Wonderful. 
<laughs> the happiest news I've seen all day. It's just such a long fight. They're so, they're tough bastards. The guards, of course, have insanely high strength and armor. I wonder if you do actually ever lose them, or if they will always constantly, even if one of them is alive, if they'll always try to hunt you down with their with their superpowers. Okay, so we're free of them. I'm going to move us over to Morn. I'm probably going to take a break from our main squad and check out what's going on back at home, because we've really not paid any attention to home in a long time. But we're going to see if we can get some more recruits in Morn. We did go and get recruits over in Shark. And we found out that there's not really a whole lot of people left in uh, the Holy Nation territory. We could go through Squin as well. All right, people are getting healed up here real quick, and we'll go on from there. A little lovely area. Pretty, right? Not so much? Okay, fair enough. I saw a Leviathan a little while ago when I was running around circles, and I still really want to build, uh, build a base up north. Maybe what we could do is have two outposts. We could have our outpost here, north of Squin, and we make an excursion to the north to set up a new base. Now, that way we could have kind of a, a caravan going back and forth to load and unload goods, and then when the time comes, we could finally break down our base to the south, and keep our base to the north. Or keep both, I guess. I guess it wouldn't really matter. I wouldn't want to mess up the pathing of any raiding parties. But, I mean, I would, but that's fine. This is a pretty rough rough, uh, rough looking town here. Do you guys actually have any bars or anything? Uh, there is one bar. I would imagine that everyone wants to leave here, but who knows. Take a look around. Do you have, like, one thing for sale? Nice, dust coats. Martial arts plus four, melee defense plus five. Um, doesn't really give you any other benefits, does it? Dodge and stealth. We already have stealth and dodge from the uh, ninja rags. An Ashland hat. I'm really curious about this Ashland area. Maybe we'll send Beak that way one day by himself. Maybe it'll be easier to explore with just Beep than everyone else. Uh, we know most of the locations you're selling on the maps here. I'll grab this map. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll visit the bar and see if we can find anyone for recruiting purposes. And after that, I might take a second to look back at base and see what's going on. Your head, like, snapped around and it was really creepy. Uh, you look like someone who might want to leave. Be needing a farmer. Uh, I don't really know if we need a farmer, per se. We've got our main little farming squad. I mean, we could always turn him into something else, but um, for the moment, let's say no. I was hoping to find a lot more, I guess, density of recruits to hire. We could go back and check... Um, uh, what was it called? Clown study down here. Or we could try Black Desert City to see if there's any more skeletons that want to join up. Well, for the moment, let's send us home. We'll come the uh, this direction off to the side. Maybe there's something... Was there something over here? I don't quite recall. I think we've been here before to check it out. Maybe on one of ex our excursions home, we stopped in that way. We still have the Great Desert Cities, and maybe we'll do a recruitment drive over there. Uh, and that might be a plan. Okay, I'm giving them a run order home. I think they're all following it. By the way, I still see a red guy. I don't think he's chasing us. Oh my gosh, are you still, are you coming our way? You definitely are. They're still chasing us. That is so insane. I'm not worried about the numbers. I think if we're in base, we're nice and secure, we'll be all right. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give us an order to come home. And I gave us a long command already to run to the gates, and it looks like it's working, so I'll probably have to check back in on our group eventually. But let's uh, let's go home finally. It's been so long since we've checked out the base. Everything is still calm. I don't think we've had any threats because we've had our archers up top, the, uh, the, the gate guards, <clears throat> the one of you who murdered Zod, Fair Zod. Praise beep. Um, 
yeah, so we've got... What's what's going on with our food? I've not checked out our food in a while. I'm assuming it's okay. Tons of dust twitches. Bread and cactus, which is good. We've got uh, a decent supply of wheat straw. Doesn't look like we've had any much more production on the grog side of the house. But that's fine. I guess we wouldn't mind having more food than not. I will probably pick up the food the next time our friends decide to raid us and, and come collect their taxes. All of our farms are coming due at the same time. So that's probably frustrating for our farmers. Maybe I should have grabbed that farmer guy. Okay, so some changes going on. Where's the new folks? Fromo Milkman. So Dadu and Crow T. Now, Dadu and Crow T have our skeleton, so they do have a bonus to the crossbow, sorry, the turret skill. Do you guys have bonuses to anything else? You can also carry heavy weapons, so it would be worth our while to train them up for combat. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a couple robots in the squad. So you guys are going to stay on the combat squad. Uh, oh, that's right. We left uh, Ace, Goliath, and Zillikin working out for a long time. Wow, you guys should have some insane strength now. What are you at? 55 strength. Very nice. Let's switch it up a bit and give you three an order to go and train your decks for a bit. Uh, Boop, what have you been up to? You're probably a master now, aren't you? 65 martial arts. Okay. Uh, your strength is 25, so let's actually switch you up and have you join the other group in the other tower doing some strength training. Cool. Uh, so Dadu and Crow T are going to work on strength. Mew, didn't I just hire you randomly? And you have what? Oh, you've got farming skill. So I did mention that maybe we could have another farmer to help out. Now, we aren't processing iron plates right now. So one of these folks, maybe Phoenix, I will add to the bronze squad. We just have to have a little bit of shared responsibility here and, and get some people back in the, uh, the manual labor side of the world. Okay, Phoenix, I want you to go process some machinery for us. I don't know why that switched over to you. Phoenix, please. Cool. Uh, so who else did we have? We've got Green, who has insanely high turret skill already. I mean, you're basically just, boom, congratulations, you're on the turret squad. Let's drop Green over to the appropriate group, which is the Triarii down here. I like how this is like a motley little crew of, of, mixed, uh, of mixed races and cultures. All with the goal of shooting everyone. Okay, we'll do this. Put you on gate guard duty. Cool. Wonderful. Who else did we get? We got Fromo and Milkman, of course. I think they're going to be, uh, no doubt, on the combat squad. So we'll get them started up as well with training. There's just enough spots for you two. So let's get you working your strength, please. We'll probably just focus your strength, honestly. This is strength, right? Okay, they are doing the assassin animation. Merlin, weren't you also... You have some turret skill. I'm really not gonna... I'm not gonna put, like... I don't know, I don't want to go too heavy on one direction, but I... I think it would be cool if we do have a really healthy turret squad, because they can really help defend your base. Um, especially if we get raided by... I don't know if Leviathans can raid down the road. I don't, I don't think they would. But if we have a really strong group that comes to raid us... It would be really awesome to have such a powerful group of base defenders in the form of these uh, crossbow guards. All right, so we'll stick you on turret training. Now, the other nice thing is we can cross-train these guys into crossbows because precision shooting is a thing, right? So that's going to affect both crossbow skill and turret guards. Are you guys still moving? Okay, you're still getting the move order. You're not quite screwed up yet. I have to occasionally check back and make sure that they're all still still moving together. We didn't like leave anyone behind, right? Just just double checking because sometimes I do that. Okay, good. We're also going to have to find a nice way to get through this zone into the Ashlands instead of doing the coast run. All right, Mew. What do we decide that we're going to do with you? Do we want to add you to the farming group? Did I not add you the right person then? Oh, oh here we go. We're going to do... 
uh, Mew down to bronze. Probably at the end, if we're going to make her help out with the farming stuff, uh, we could put her there with Starbuck, Hilo, Sharon. Maybe I'll do a reverse order for you. That way you're you're harvesting things when everyone else is doing other stuff. That way no farm gets left behind. We have a ton of farms. Holy cow. I'm going to click a couple of these again just to make sure that we didn't miss any. All right, that should help out. Uh, where else are we... What are we at in storage-wise? We've got... Are we doing okay in cactus? Oh, wow. We've got tons and tons of cactus. Uh, we also have tons and tons of that. What about bread? No, nope, bread's getting used as soon as it comes uh, to pass. They're, they're, uh, Dietrix is making those sandwiches. Pork chop sandwiches. Okay, so... We almost we need someone to dedicated to drop... Look how fast the grain silo processes everything. I don't know what the best method to handle that is. Do we, should we put the wheat straw storage next to the grain silo? Do we want to just say, hey, let's let's stop making bread for a bit and focus on grog? Not that we mean need a ton of money, uh, but it could be, you know it, it could be the money maker. You guys still running? Okay. Who was left then? Hamut. What are you? Uh, kind of a generic mix. So. Do I want to start you on crossbows right away? So this is the estate of our main squad. Hamut won't be there. Ma, Tanishi, and Truth will. Beep will stay in the main squad as a fighter because he's martial arts. We're, we're more than likely going to add Boop as well. Because Boop also has super high martial arts. And then we've got Ace, Goalies, and Zillikin. If we take Hamu's, uh, Hamut out, that would, leave, that would be four full members here. And we would have a full stack of uh, 24 melee fighters. So maybe we start stacking for the archer squad. Let's drop you down, Hamut, if you don't care. We're going to put you on the archer squad, and you're going to go work on... Do we have the crossbow turret up? Cool. You're going to go work on crossbows for a, wh a while. I'm going to do a quick save, because I've just given orders to a bunch of people. So Crote, I mean, we could switch Crote and Dadu over to turrets, but I like the fact that they get a bonus to heavy weapons. Was anyone else that we need to look at? I mean, we could pull S Sad Neil off if we wanted to. He's also the robot. But he already does have pretty decent turret skill, as it is. Plus, he's Sad Neil, and Sad Neil just stays sad. Because maybe he's sad because he murdered Zod. Who knows? All right, where are we at in the in the realm of crafting? Have we been doing much, Stork? Uh, you've been grinding away at the weaponsmithing. Can you now make a better quality weapon? Can you make your first, uh, your first edge walker yet? Falling Sun, edge type one. Can you do it? Estimated quality is mark two. Okay, so you're still not quite high enough to do it. That makes sense, though. He, he probably should have to have his skill way through the roof. I didn't even think about that. I could have been grinding that out a while ago. Oh, by the way, are all of our animals starving because we've not been paying attention too much to them? No, not too bad. Okay. By the time our main squad gets home, we'll send them right out again down to the hive area to, get, to do a little bit of meat farming. Maybe I'll take our... Um, High Tower, Tiny Two, and Kenmore with us, and we can really stock up on the food side of the house. Let's just have a bunch of random stuff. Have a random stealth leg hanging around that we've never uh, turned in. That's fine. It's fine. Cool. I like the way the base is looking. I am giving heavy thought to migrating to the north and doing some hardcore Leviathan hunting. Yes, it's going to take us forever to cross the map, but hopefully... By the next time we have a main excursion leave the base, we are very well prepared, well equipped, everyone with high quality armor, high quality weapons, tons more archers. We can feel safe leaving the base because we're going to have a very strong defensive posture because of all of our turret guards. And I really, again, I really like the idea of doing a little bit of Leviathan hunting up north. Okay, everyone's getting crazy split. Somehow Griffin went down somewhere. Son of a bitch. How did you go down, Griffin? Oh, great. I ran through big things and didn't catch it. I should have been paying more attention. 
Okay, squad, halt and or panic. Can I grab you guys? I can't quite yet grab you. Uh, okay, I have to go over here to, to highlight everyone. Oh my god, everything's a hot mess. Okay. Um, sorry, question mark. We've got two chasing Doc and Jade. Alice went down somewhere back here. Beep went down somewhere back here, too. Oh, my goodness. I almost got everyone killed. All right. Are we in any danger right off the bat? No and no. We will be if they decide to nom on everyone. Crap. I unpaused. All right. First off, let's get back to these guys. Tanishi, Laura, Griffin, Shrike, all you all. Let me hop over to you. Tanishi, Griffin. Uh, who else was it that was left behind? Han, Tobal, Shrike. Are you guys safe? Ish at all? Not quite. Oh, this is going to be so much micromanagement. I'm not looking forward to this. Wow, did I put us through a bad spot? Uh, hang on, there's a farm ruin over there. Can you guys stop unpausing? Can you guys get over here? You've already taken some pretty decent sized hits. Hand is not in danger. So you two aren't in danger. All of you guys could probably make... Where'd the ruin farm go? Oh, it's over this way. <sighs> okay, those are destroyed buildings, and I love destroyed buildings. We should be able to get this group inside of it. Okay, Griffin's down. Can I, one of you grab him? Oh, damn. Uh, Tanishi already has Laura. Are you getting chased, Tanishi? No, you're not getting chased. Griffin is okay for a second or two. Uh, you all are getting chased actively, but you're pretty close. What about the rest of you? So the rest of you... I think we're going to have to stop and fight. For the, the other part of the group here. Because we have to get back to Alice and Beep. I see one, two... Oh, that's a lot, though. That is a lot. Not a good place to be. Uh, we could do... Let's see. We could move... We can get two people back to these two. We can pick them up and try to move them to the house that we're nearby. That's still, that's still really, really far, but I could probably micro the dodging. The problem would be finding someone who's completely uninjured and able to move with that weight. Uh, Truth is already slow. Maw is going to go down probably because he's just slower than dirt. Uh, I don't think we can fight this off, honestly. This is four of them, six of them. Aren't there a couple more down here? Yes, yeah, seven. So this is a pack of seven. Who knows how many more we'd pull. But that is such a long run to get away. Are you Swamp Raptors? Oh my goodness. Is that salvation in the form of a Swamp Raptor? Maybe. Maybe sort of, kind of. I'm pausing and unpausing to try to see movement. Okay, let's make a run to... I lost them already. There they are up there. Let's make a run to these Raptors. I'm going to try to lose these guys in the Raptor area. Let's do a couple of uh, fake attacks here, and then move away. Good. Okay, Maw is able, I think, just enough to trigger their attack, and then run away. Oh, this is so very ugly. We're going to probably lose at least one or two more people unconscious before the, uh, the moment is out. Maybe we can have everyone catch up, and we'll loop back for Beep and Alice. Oh, guys, what are you freaking doing? Are, you, are they after both of you, or just one of you? Let's have you guys split up. Oh, of course they're with both of you. That would make perfect sense. Okay, good. Everyone's getting eaten. Who's over here? Band of Bones. Okay, that's another good thing. Maybe we'll have our group mix in with the Band of Bones and pull a bit of aggro instead of running all the way over to the sheep. Uh, Beep, are you guys doing okay over here? Beep and Alice, right? Uh, it's not a really great head wound. It's not mega super duper critical, but it's not great. All right, I'm going to have them run through or near this bag of bones. Truth just went down. 
How's the rest of the group doing? Griffin. You're down, right? You are down. Oh, you are so close to getting eaten right now. Did they eat you? Did, did I remember that right? Tanishi and Laura are down. Shrike Wing, everyone else is up. Okay. Are you guys being chased at all or no? Because if you're not being chased, then turn the hell around and let's go help. Okay, that's not being chased right now. For like three seconds. Uh, you're fighting something else right now, are you? Or was that just a random damage indicator? Too much going on. Is there anything else that I can have you guys kite these uh, big things into? We need to get to these three. At least they're all unconscious together. That's the only convenient thing. All right, I'm going to give them a run over, over to here-ish. Was there anything to the side? Oh, I can't see. I can barely see anything. Okay. We're going to give them a far run order for that. I'm going to switch back to the other group. How are we looking here? I didn't quite see where we wound up. Uh, we've got Maw down, Doc's up, Jade's up but hurting. Uh, band of uh, jerk-offs are here. Shit, Truth just took a massive shot too. Everyone's running slow because we've got the mirror, you know, go, go with the slowest kind of a thing on. I think I'm going to have everyone fight one particular enemy. And we'll, we'll try to help, hopefully, maybe the band of b uh, bag of bones, whatever the hell they are, they can hold their own. I'm watching the other group to see if we've got any dam damage indicators come up. Okay, Doc and Jake are making their way over. Do we have any archers who are up right now? Jade. Lydia is what? Lydia is where? She's she moving over there. Okay. Uh, Jade needs to come, like, over here. If maybe we can somehow pull that aggro off her. Kif, could you maybe do that? Because her bow is going to be of great assistance to us. Ranged on. Hold. Got it. Lydia is still running over to the side. This group is going to... So what we're going to try to do is come in. We're going to try to pick up Tanishi, Laura, and Griffin. We're going to try to run up and join the other group. Not a great place to be in right now. Who's super wounded? Oh my god, are they all Elder? Are we just not doing any damage whatsoever? Tassila just went down. Let's have our guys spread out a bit. I normally don't micro the fights. Oh, nice! We're like... <laughs> we're having assistance from the Band of Bones. Okay, let's have our guys gang up on this one particular dude. This is the one we're gonna... My arm's broken. Yeah, that's fine. Just suck it up. Okay, L Jade, change targets and fire at this guy. There we go. We need that night. We need those 90 damage shots. Are both of your arms broken? Sure enough. All right, <laughs> the Naruto run. You don't have anything in your inventory. Can you trade with Jackson and grab a health kit maybe? If you're not gonna be useful, at least patch yourself and maybe someone else up. Crumble John, I'm gonna have you block for a minute. Doc, you're gonna need to block for a second. Tassilo's down and trying to help. Tassilo, pull away here. Okay, we're getting a, a little bit of a handle on it. He says right before everyone dies. So who's over here, Lydia? Waiting for that next batch of 18 to come follow us somewhere. Alright, there's still one over here. I think he's eating something. So I'm going to try to grab who I can. Oh, I don't want to watch, like, not watch either group. But we really have to focus. Oh, fuck. There's a group over there. They're walking away. This is what I get for not paying attention. Okay, pick up Griffin. Uh, Tobol, you've got your arms. Pick up Tanishi or Laura. One of the two. Alright, you're going to pick up Tanishi. So, Wing, the Indomitable Wing, pick up Laura. Are you getting chased? I just saw that ac the uh, chase message. Okay, well, you just pulled aggro. That's fine. Let's get going. We've got everyone. I can probably try to micromanage these guys and get them up the hill. So if we run up this hill... Oh, God, these guys are coming up the bad way. A bad a way we don't want everyone to be going. Uh, there's the Swamp Raptors there. I'm going to give them a far order. Okay, how are we doing over here now? One of them went down. Good. Uh, you're still hurting, so why don't you just act as a medic right now? Let's go heal patch up Tanishi. Is this Band of Bone guys attacking us? No. 
Are they winning? Did they win the fight? Not at all. So we're going to probably grab three more enemies in just a few seconds here. Where'd those swamp raptors go? They went away. Anybody else around this particular area? Maybe I should have done the reverse and have these guys go down to the uh, the building. Maw, you're still not doing too good. Alice and Beep, I don't want to forget you guys. Beep, you are not looking too great. Alice, you are dying. You literally have the dying modifier, so that means the game thinks you're in a bad spot. Okay, Truth, Justice, and the... Oh, you can't do anything because you don't have any arms. Crap. All right, Crumble John, let's go. One at a time. Um, we're going to have to pick these uh, pick these guys off here. Tassilo, I, I need you to really stop doing that. Doc, let's... You're not going to fight for a few minutes here. Okay, I need to go back to the other group. Doc is going to come around and try to grab Beep and Alice. All right, next. Uh, Tassilo and company. Oh, good. Everyone just decided to just drop. That's great. Uh, can we run away? Tassilo is down. Oh, this was the literally the group I just left. Okay, that didn't help things out. That was really funny. I, I just got super distracted, apparently. So, Jackson, you are doing what? You're trying to help. Crumble John, take a target. Kiff, take a target. Truth, you are just not going to be able to help out at all right now. So just pull off to the side. Jade, stay here. Okay. I'm going to take them off block so that they can get some attacks in. Or do we want to have block? Maybe we'll let Jade do the work. I mean, you are actually doing some decent damage here. We'll have uh, we'll have Jackson help out. Okay. The next up, sorry, which was the other group? It was uh, Tanishi was one of them. So let's double click on Tanishi. How are we doing? Are we what? How are we up? How is no one down? How the hell did that happen? I have no idea how our group managed to get away from the other guys. That's exciting. The first and only good news we've had. Let's have our main group uh, regroup behind the lines here. Another big thing in the distance, Jade is still peppering our enemies into the face. Let's try to get this one. Uh, Jackson holding... Okay, Crumble John, I need you to take this one on. Although it's almost dead. Why don't you try actively try to fight it? This one's not dead at all. This one is not either. So let's finish this guy off. Oh, is it actually dead? It just went down. Cool. Crumble John, off block. Attack. Tassilo, come out of the fight. Doc, uh, go to Alice and Beep. Maw is down too. Maw's okay, though. Okay-ish. Okay, the main group is coming up to help out, guys. I think I think we're doing a little bit better. What are you doing, you little bastard? You're hurting. I bet Doc could take you. Doc is pretty strong. Uh, Jade, switch targets to the guy that's already wounded. Crumble John, go on block. Ouch. Okay, the rest of you guys that are just coming in hand, why don't you lend one? Get stuck in here a bit. Shrike as well. As they're coming in, I'm going to give them targets to attack. Everyone else needs to come right up behind Jade. Hopefully Lydia can help out with the, um, the shoosting of enemies as well. Doc will come over here and at least stabilize Alice and Beep. Both of you guys are not doing too hot. Okay, I'll leave that there for the moment. Uh, Maw's okay. Truth is just, you know, kind of broken. We've only got one more. Let's make sure everyone's off block. Okay, cool. Everyone is together. We've got a bunch of, uh, what the hell are these? Blood spiders? Oh, I hate blood spiders because they eat you. Is anyone down? Uh, Tassilo is injured and down, so let's have Kif. Are you functional? Your leg is bad. Who came over? Who's speaking? Okay, here we go. Hand. Pick up Tassilo. One of these bastards is chasing us. Yeah, why don't you just shoot this guy in the face, please? That would be wonderful. Okay, Truth, you're still hurt, but that's fine. Yeah, you're gonna have a bad day, dude. You're picking on the wrong group of people. We're not having a great... Oh, mother... Okay, so friendly fire, that sucked. That hurt just a bit. Doc is off to the side. Beep is down. That's okay. Okay, so we, we haven't left anyone else right now, as far as I can tell. Alright, let's get away from this entire shindig. The pucker factor is real. <laughs> the pucker factor is very, very real right now. Let's try to get everyone in one spot. 
and then we'll have some time recovering. Where are we? God, we're nowhere. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right, we've got one. We pulled one more uh, critter. So let's put the uh, archers back up on top here. Why don't we have Kif? Why don't you go into block and why don't you tank this guy for a few minutes here while everyone else gets to shooting? Oh, nice. You did you taunt it? Interesting. Did you uh, heal Alice? Okay, you did. Did you actually heal Beep too before you picked him up? You did. Wonderful. Are you just gonna ignore us? I mean, I'm I'm okay with this. I'm not offended by any means, my friend. All right. <laughs> you big jerk. What are you doing, you spaz? <laughs> okay. It, it's freaking me out. I'm just waiting for it to figure out what it wants to do. Is it having a fit because we killed its parents? It's running away. All right. So the unyielding, once again, proves victorious, even despite the leader, the great leader Tobol's uh, terrible gameplay, having them run through an awful zone without uh, supervision. It's fine. I totally trusted them, guys. Um, so what's ahead of us right now? More terrible things, probably? All right, let's get a couple seconds to get everyone patched up here. Does everyone have their job still yet? Okay, let's take everyone off block. Not too, too shabby. Beep has got a leg injury, so he's not going to be able to walk for a bit. Tanishi's got a leg injury, and Griffin has a leg injury. Laura can be okay. Laura can come back to walking again. Wing, if you could put her down. She's going to be able to keep up with the group, at least, and be functional as an archer. Uh, Alice will not. Okay. Who's slowest, who's fastest here? Wing, you're doing pretty good. So, Wing, if you could pick up Alice. All right. Crumble John is also not doing so hot. So, Tassilo, Jackson, Shrike. Let's have Shrike pick up Crumble John and carry him for a bit. What else do we have? We've got Dust Bandits. Oh, it's so nice to see such calm and, you know, low-key enemies after all this. All right, I'm going to do a quick save to make sure we don't lose any progress in case we get a crash. All right, so next we have to move to the north. Ooh, what is this? Is this a friendly camp or like a I will kill you kind of a camp? I thought this symbol for like, like the... Uh, this little symbol here, I thought that meant more like friendly people than not. Like a nomad camp or something. I'd love to hole up with nomads for a while. I don't actually see anyone or anything. Is it just a campfire? Can we steal your beds? People who aren't here? Like even for even for like five minutes, it would be super nice. Oh, well, hell yeah. Let's do it then. Let's have everybody take a quick five minute nap. Who is chasing whom? Oh, I pulled the dust bandits. Hey, found him. Okay, so Doc was a little bit slow. He's trying to carry Beep. Uh, unfortunately, Doc is already loaded down with a ton of extra things, and Beep is loaded down too. Let's have the main group come back. Let's get the archers uh, set apart from everyone. I don't know if we're going to fight this out long term or what. We, we probably could. I just don't want more damage than we really need right now. Uh, Lydia, you're carrying Griffin. Can you use your crossbow? You can while carrying someone. What a boss. Let's deselect Jade. Let's have everyone continuing to just... Maybe we'll just try running back and forth uh, in front of these guys and see if we can get some uh, get some kills, some free kills here. All right, Doc just went down with Beep. That actually honestly probably made life a little bit easier. I right, just get stuck in, guys. That's fine. Dust bandits. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about dust bandits as much as I'm worried about other things around us. Archers, why don't you hold off on firing into the melee and uh, come help out? Wow, we cleared them out in uh, uh, super quick. Holy crap. I used to be terrified of dust bandits, too. 
I mean, that used to be like, that was like, oh my god, we're getting raided by dust bandits. Life is over. <laughs> okay, so let's drop some of our burdens down. Did we already drop a couple people? I think we stood them back up again. All right, cool. Let's get uh, Kif to pick up Beep or someone. Tosillo can pick up Beep. Uh, no, Tosillo can't because Tosillo is sleepy. Tobol, put down Tanishi, please. We'll get uh, Jackson to grab Beep. What I'll try to do is probably we are coming to a pretty natural endpoint in the episode, so maybe I'll spend the next little bit resting our squad up here. I'll have everyone else on kind of a perimeter defense for a bit, but this might not be a bad, uh, just a moment of respite for our fighters. Laura, let's have you go down for a power nap. I would love to get our, our full archer squad back up again, because they can do, they're such a force multiplier. They're, they're really good at, you know, making, you know, your numbers stand out, your small numbers stand out. So we, we are pulling something, of course, because life wouldn't be complete if we didn't pull something. Is it the precursor to a big group? No, it's just a small little group. Even so, the blood spiders are nothing to mess around with. So we'll have, uh, let's have Jade, Jade wake up. Lydia pull off to the side here. Wing, can you block for a minute? Do you have the ability to do this? And we'll have Lydia and, no, I don't really want the whole squad to help out because they suck. Okay, I guess, whatever, let's go. Ugh, 37 per hit, and they attack at a very quick rate, too. Okay, not the best place to take a power nap, but we're going to do it, and we're going to make it happen. So, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, this episode of Kenshi. I hope it was enjoyable. Uh, and until next episode, I do hope you take care, and I will see you very, very soon.